Hello, the one and only Xylophony here with another episode of Scrap Mechanic. Now, as you can see, I had to destroy some stuff. The server I'm playing on just started lagging like crazy, I couldn't get more than 4 frames, and I'm just mostly attributing it to the fact that this game is early access, and people do generally have to switch their world every once in a while. I have not done much, so I didn't think I would have to, but apparently I would. So, I had to tear everything apart just so I could run the world and show off a couple of my new things. As you can see, the Ferris Wheel of Doom is over there, but I'm just going to keep hitting stuff because I can. And I tore it all apart. Okay, none of that's really flying anymore. Okay, on to the Ferris Wheel of Doom. Wait, wait. Yeah. Oh. Well, Ferris Wheel of Doom. So, I was showing this off in one of the previous episodes, of course, but it is now complete with double rows of tires to keep it nice and stable the gyrogravity scopic um, seat thing and of course full forward and reverse propulsion the only thing it's missing is steering that's uh... it's not really included in this whole contraption i was trying to think of ways that i could do steering and there's really none one thing I was thinking of would be to put a rocket over on this side and a rocket over on this side and then if I put both those rockets going at once then it would turn to the right because this one would push the front that way and this one would push the back this way. But just the way that this thing moves that is completely impossible since the entire thing rotates so there would be no front and back while this thing is moving. Now there is a front and back to the tiny seat here but I'm afraid that amount of distance between the two uh, jets doesn't really make for a very wide turning radius. If you give me a, a flat mile, then I think I could turn with this thing. But let's go ahead and show it off. And... Whoa, that's reverse. So as you can see, that pushes all those bits. And this pushes all these bits. Now once we get over this little ledge, we're going to get rolling. Yeah. Oh, here we go. It takes a little time to build up speed, but of course it's uh, not built for speed, it's built to be a wonder, a natural wonder of the world. What does this do? Oh, that button's not connected to anything, but here's my steering, let's see. Yeah, see this will push me slightly in the left direction, which is not the direction I wanted to go. Darn it, I'm gonna hit a fence eventually. But I think this thing is pretty cool. A giant spinning wheel, I just sit here with all that weight on the base of the seat. It stays nice and flat. And I continuously move an entire vehicle round and round. So it's pretty fun stuff. Ooh, looks like we're getting a little uneven here. Oh, we're going to hit some debris. Let's see how it does. Oh, we just push it aside because we're so heavy. But I don't think that rock's going to give us as easy of a time. Let's hit it dead on. Let's do a little bit of a turn towards there. With the, we can only turn left currently. Oh, I think we're going down. No, we're not. Can we go over it? No, we can't go over it. All right, turn it into reverse. Ooh, we are leaning. But that's the thing, just because there's so much weight centralized in the middle. Oh, we're done. We're done. All right. And now we cannot go anywhere else as I just spin in the middle here. Although this makes a new fun game. Uh, actually, I don't think I can position any of these so they won't collide into anything. Well, I don't know. Let's try it. Yeah, I think that could work, right? Alright. The fourth button wasn't attached to anything, was it? I think that was the issue. Yeah. Oh, we got stuck. Anyway, be right back with a new one. Alright, let's kick this thing in reverse. Oh no! Because I still have those rockets attached. We're not going to have the perfect swing. Ah, we're stuck between these couple of wedges. We're going upside down. Let's see... Can I turn this at all? I do not think so since I took the turning mechanism out. Come on! This is like the Star Wars General Grievous wheel except kind of slower and somehow his turned. I have no idea physically how to make it turn. Like I'm thinking of the physics that would be behind it and I can't think of anything. If you guys have any, you know, <laughs> scientific ideas of making something like this turn, let me know, but the ideas I expressed already are pretty much the only ones I could think of. But anyway, I also showed off that I was building an X-Wing, so here is what we have so far. 
Of course, there's still some bits that are shell, some bits that would be taken away, and stuff like that. But we got this full thing going with, let me see, what are these called again? I may have talked about this before, but oh yeah, they're all made out of ducts. So, it's nice and white, just like an X-Wing. But I also got kind of lazy and just turned part of this into wood. One, so the wings wouldn't have as much weight on them and it would make it, you know, a little more difficult for this thing to tip over. And two, just because it's easier to place that than to place these individually. So, we also have, of course, the full assortment of... Uh, hold on. Eh, let me Let me zoom in, please. Yeah, we have the full assortment of rockets down there. I've figured out the balancing problem. We have to have a lot more uh, propulsion in the back and very little in the front for it to stay even. Because uh, obviously there's a lot more weight in the back, so it needs all that lift. We, in fact, after adding on to uh, our weapon system, we had to add another 10 to the very back of it. So we could try to tuck some more in the middle line there, but I just did this to uh, keep it even and, well, it's kind of still in production, so that worked out. We have our forward momentum set up like this with uh, four rockets on each wing. This will also be our turning mechanism. So if you, you know, press these rockets, it'll curve to its left. If you press these ones, it'll curve to the right. And then we have a couple more rockets here. I don't think these are as accurate when it comes to X-Wing design. Those might be moved, but I wanted to do some uh, stunts and tricks that, that might make possible. So let's see if we can get in here. Uh, as you can see, I kind of made a little bit of a uh, custom designed X-Wing here by leaving some of the gaps open. I thought that just might look cool. And of course, we also have another bit back here with some of these, which I'll demonstrate in a second. Now, I don't know how well this thing flies. In fact, it's actually stuck in the ground right now. And every time I place it, it lags because the server's not having fun. Oh, our weapons are gone. Darn it. Alright, let's see if we can get some sort of weapons in here. Alright, we will get a little bit of this. A little bit of that. Alright, now we're going to get some small tanks. Alright. Now, the fun thing about this X-Wing is I maybe should have made it into a Y-Wing. Because it is not a uh, fighter. It is actually a bomber, and if you are a Star Wars nerd like I am, you know the Y-Wings are the bombers, but, you know, I won't tell anyone if you don't. So, we have a bomber. Of course, these play the part of the bombs, just because I couldn't think of a way to make, you know, some sort of projectile that wouldn't take a lot of room and a lot of space, or just a lot of rockets. So, let's see if we can take off now. There we go. Look, we are fairly balanced. Oh, that's gonna be... A little troublesome. One bonus thing about the stunt wings is that uh, there goes our weapons. You know I'm. Oh no! We're doomed. This is the other downside. When you get out of the seat, when it's kind of broken, it just takes you. All right, we're free. All right. And since it is all switch based, this kind of thing can happen. Realistically, I'm just a bad pilot when it comes to this thing, and it's not, you know, easy design to fly. <laughs> that too, I suppose, adds to it. But it is flyable. Or rather, it should be flyable. <laughs> Alright, so of course we'll go up, and then to go forward, we press the back jets there. Now we are moving forward. And those back jets, as you can see, are doing that. Now, it looks like we're flapping a little bit there. Hopefully that didn't completely crash us. Oh, we are lagging, though, after that landing. This thing gets really laggy sometimes. But I'm, once again, attributing that to the server and everything. Now, let's try to do a turn. Of course, this thing isn't, uh you know, great yet, but, and it may never become great, but we got a little bit of that, now let's go for a turn, oh, hold on, balance it, and forward, are we going forward, hold on, no, we're not going forward, uh oh, we're doing stunts, 
Oh. Are these on or off? I should have really made these buttons. Um, this may look like we're spinning out of control, but trust me, it's called stunts. Alright, cool. And now... Yeah, that's the stunt I meant to do. Oh, we need a little bit more, a little bit more. A little bit too much on that last stunt. But yeah, as you can see, I can do barrel rolls. Not very successfully, I might add, but still, they are barrel rolls. Oh, drop the frames. Alright, back in the X-Wing, and we have frames again. Now let's try to pilot this thing and keep it in the air. Of course the balance isn't perfect, and I don't have any balancing systems in this. I think that would be the uh, final step to getting this thing working. But let's go forward. Now the thing about that back latch is I have it set so I can move it like that. And like that. And then that'll release the bombs. Uh oh. What are we doing? Which one's moving? Uh, wait. Okay, we have figured it out. Uh, no, let's turn. Let's get that back up. Uh, wait, wrong buttons. I'm a bad pilot! No! Oh, that's not gonna be easy to get out of. Can we flip ourselves? Nope. These actually do help balance things a little bit. But, of course, things are not perfect. Oh man, still stuck? Come on. You know, I'm just gonna... Actually, if I leave this part out, it'll be terribly unbalanced. Can I go now? Can I be free? Oh no, we are not getting out of here. Oh. We had to take out some rockets. Hopefully those weren't some of the ones that were connected. If they were... Oh well. I don't think it'll completely ruin everything, right? Let's see, let's just leave that bit open for now, because... I should... Yeah, 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 that was definitely a used rocket. Oh, well. Alright, let's once again try to get this thing turned. And, of course, we have these ramps here just for ease of access. I don't think they would stay in the long run. Uh, whoa. Whoa! Something... Yeah, yeah. We, okay, we need to reattach some rockets. I get it. That is way off. So it's all a balancing act to get this right. And we attach all the main lift rockets to the one. So we'll do that, and then an even one on the other side. And then that should be the right balance we want. Oh, now it's heavy in the back. We did the wrong ones. Hmm. Well, let's just, just go backwards. Ready for this? Wait. No. Oh, oh, that was so nearly cool. That was so nearly just like skillful and everything. Oh, wait, no. The reason the back is uh, dipping down is because we have a little bit of a weight difference here. So let's go ahead and add all that back if we can. This is going to hurt. Eh. Up. Oh. And... The frames have dropped. Alright, I should have that balance issue solved. And I don't... Oh wait, no, we have too much going on in the front. What? What's happening? What's happening to me? Uh, can we... Can we jet out of this? No, we're stuck in something. Okay. So we have too much lift in the front. I've seen this before. What we're gonna do is... Uh, you know what? Let's make this easier on ourselves. Place this down. Cool, no dropping of the frames. Alright. So let's add this one to the front wide's propulsion. And that should just add a little bit of oomph onto the back. Yes, oomph is a word. A scientific word. All about physics and balance. There we go. We're pretty fairly balanced again now. I may have been able to go one more back than that. But I think we're okay. Let's go forward. There we go. We are flying an X-Wing. Alright, stunt time. Yeah, barrel roll. Oh, you know what? The tricky part is knowing when to stop stunting. 
And you gotta turn off certain bits of it mid-flight as well. Alright, don't go lagging on me here, please. Oh. Ooh. I'm getting lucky. Alright. So we need to go up. Let's actually, uh... Get this turned around. So right now we have nothing going. Let's go forward. Uh, are we going forward? Oh man, we are tipping a lot back there. Alright, let's just try one barrel roll. We can do this. Alright, barrel roll. Turn that off. Uh, well, we're going for another barrel roll. Uh. Uh. No, no. Barrel rolls are tough. Barrel rolls are tough. And I should have turned that off a while ago. Oh, well. So, as you can see, the X-Wing is coming together with some very, very difficult controls that really are kind of a monster. But... But you aren't afraid of monsters, are you? You should be. There we go. Alright, so hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode of Scrap Mechanic. Um, this might be the last episode we see here, just because the world may completely crash and I don't want to rebuild any of this. But, as the game develops, I may start playing it again. So let me know what you guys think of it. Hopefully you all had a fun time sharing these lovely creations with me. And I will see you guys in the next video.